what that leads us to. The idea that if we have a very large comet coming into the solar system, somewhere between say 25 and 30,000 years ago, and it begins to undergo a hierarchy of disintegrations, and I'm talking about a very large comet, a mega comet, which we know exists and has been a theoretical probability for decades, particularly coming from the British school of catastrophism. Yeah, probably the final phase of the late Wisconsin Ice Age, when there was a rapid and huge climate shift around 25 to 27,000 years ago, may have been caused by the planet becoming dusted with the affluent material discharging from a large comet nucleus. Well, let's suppose that that did happen and the comet began to break up. What ultimately is going to happen to that cometary mass? Well, main thing that's going to happen to it is it's going to swallowed up by the sun. And then it's going to hit planets. Probably Jupiter could be a prime candidate, Earth, Mars, Venus, right? And the third thing, it becomes, uh, it disintegrates into the level of a meteor shower. And then further beyond that, it becomes just dust and most likely this is what's known as the zodiacal light could be, could be, and it has been proposed that this zodiacal light is the reflection of light off of dust left over from the mega comet.